Good morning, Indonesia, and now you are watching Eric TV. I'm Eric Masari, who want to bring you the latest hot news from the education world, especially what is happening to Indonesian students these days. The ongoing pandemic throughout the world is very detrimental to the world education system, including Indonesia. Changes in the learning system since the unexpected closures of school has many changes in effect to many aspects. In addition to many things regarding education that must be stabilized, the mental health of students also deserve more attention. Mental health is indeed an issue that has begun to receive attention from the public, but because of the pandemic, many people are paying more attention, and we can say this is one of the most viral issues among the students. Problems can come to the sudden change such as online schooling, being at home all the time, and this may have impact on mental health. The Ministry of Women's Empowerment and Child Protection said that many parents and family are aware about the change in their children mentally. Even though they have started to realize this, closest people still don't really understand about mental health issues and how to overcome them. Nadi Makarim, as the Indonesian Minister of Education and Culture, also explained that dropping out of school, problems with child growth and development, also psychological stress, are two negative effects of distance learning. The stress felt by students during the pandemic is generally caused by insufficient learning process, starting with teachers who cannot deliver the material well but still send a lot of assignments to pursue curriculum completeness. Even though the government has issued a circular letter of the Minister of Education and Culture No. 4 of 2020, which states that during online learning, teachers shouldn't pursue curriculum achievement due to the limited time, facilities, learning media, and the environment that can become obstacles. Students who feel depression during this era are starting to have difficulty finding ways to cope with them. But lately, many entertainment apps have become popular such as TikTok, Netflix, mobile games, and many others. These apps become an escape for students from their boring and stressful routines. They can watch movies on Netflix, following various trends on TikTok, and also interact with their friends by playing mobile games. Not only being users of social media, many students also use these apps to, to build a small business or even a become content creator to express their self and emotion while studying at home, considering they have quite a lot of free time. Even though it seems to help them through difficult time during the pandemic, it also has a bad impact on them, not only for now but also for the future. Depends on these activities makes many students neglected and as a result, there is loss of learning, even many students drop out of school. But when compared to the other escape that directly led to negative things like cigarettes, drugs, alcohol, or even attempt to hurt themselves physically, using social media as an escape is something that really helps students to survive through the pandemic. One way that will help students to know the limits of using social media is people around them to always remind them of the course in a way that is easily accepted by teenagers. Talking about the negative form of escape, still there are several students prefer to smoke, get drunk, use drugs, do self-harm, and a lot of you choose to commit suicide. One thing that is very worrying is the number of student smokers in Indonesia increasing every year. Data from the basic health research state that there is an increase in the prevalence of smoking in the population aged 10 years from 28.8% in 2013 to 29.3% in 2018. It can happen to, due to the absence of sufficient technology to find entertainment and unfavorable environment. It reflects that Indonesian students' mental health disorder are not recognized and handled properly which slowly plunks the students into a slump. Seeing the phenomenon of mental health problems that occurred to Indonesian students during the pandemic, many parties are demanding the government to discover an effective way in rebuilding the education system. Circular letters are still considered less influential. In fact, there are still many teachers who pursue curriculum completeness. Firmness from the authorities is very much needed to make sure every school complies with it. Nadi Makarim, as the Minister of Education and Culture, has also tried his best to restore the learning process in school. But seeing the number of patients getting infected with COVID-19 in Indonesia is getting worse day by day, so that the government has to postpone the opening of school. 
Parents also play an important role maintaining the mental health of students as well as parents can better recognize the symptoms of mental health disorder that may be experienced by children at home. If you care and love your child, it's good for you to help your child finding a way to deal with the mental stress they are experiencing. Well, that's all that we can talk to you about the condition of, of Indonesian students in these days. We hope that this information will help you to create healthier, happier, and safer household. Me and older Q say thank you and for the attention and have a good day.